Over the years, many of our customers have told us that being able to work with hyperlinks in a very efficient manner is something that's critical to their workflows. So with the introduction of Review 10, we've added a new set of functionality we call links that makes the managing of hyperlinks much, much more efficient. Now to get into some of the functionality, let's click over on the links panel here and it looks like the little place indicator, the place icon indicator. If you don't see that, you can always go to the tab access and choose it here and it, it should uh, appear. And this panel is broken up into two main areas. One, the places, and two, the hyperlinks. The hyperlink shows all of the hyperlinks that are in a particular PDF file. So this gives me a nice visual list of everything in a in a uh, form that that shows me those links organized not just on the the PDF page but actually in a nice list here that I can see I can navigate to and I can uh, see organized by page where those links are. Also, there's a search capability where you can look a, look for uh, a particular string, and it'll return that information here. So you know, as an example, you know, if we just want to see the Furring detail as I start to type it automatically updates the search results so that I can see that all grouped together. So this gives me a really handy way. Imagine uh, PDFs that have thousands of hyperlinks in them. The search becomes a critical feature that's now uh, built right there within the hyperlinks. Now uh, the hyperlinks, so that gives me a way of showing all of my my hyperlinks here. I can also multi-select and do things like edit the properties so if with those selected, I can choose different properties like the visibility. I can control the color line with how they appear in a PDF. So that's one thing you can do that's also new is the ability to, to multi-select and, and choose uh, different appearance settings. Uh, so that's built right there under hyperlinks. Now another uh, thing that I wanted to talk about is this concept of places. And places is really powerful. It's our customers saying that they had a need to save those snapshot views, those areas that you're going to link to over and over again. Typical examples include details on drawings or, or specific areas of a document. And in this particular drawing, there are two details. There's a furring detail uh, number five and furring detail number seven. And to show a little bit about how this works, let's go over to, let me go over in the drawing here. So this this page, page 13 of this uh, PDF has all the details listed. Uh, I'm going to go add a new place called elevator detail. And I do this by clicking the little plus, add a place. I'm going to go call it elevator detail and we'll get a rectangle so we'll make a, a snapshot view of this so let me go choose that and once I've done that you see now this elevator detail appears so what's great about this is now I can go back into another page of the drawing so let me go pop over to we'll just go pick a page here and I can very simply by dragging a hyperlink you know we'll just go there I've built a link to that that detail just by the fact of selecting this and dragging. So now when I hover my mouse over that elevator detail that I just added, you see that it's a snapshot view and that place is actually named. So I can very quickly, you know, add that link and then when I click on it, it takes me right to that. So imagine if you have hundreds of of details, the the ability to be able to name them to save them such that you can very quickly just by clicking a link and, and plopping it where you uh, need to refer to that link uh, builds for a very very efficient workflow. Another thing I'll mention about this too is that at any point you can go in and update the properties of any one of these particular places. So oftentimes you know if a drawing set's reissued and the details shift a bit instead of having to go recreate all of those details you can very easily go in here select that change the properties so let's go uh, choose a rectangle here so we'll instead of having it be that wider view we'll just kinda go in tighter here to that area so now 
whenever we'll click off of that whenever any hyperlink that points to that will have this this zoomed in view so it's an ability to be able to change that detail without having to go in and update each individual hyperlink that points to that location I change it in one location and every hyperlink that refers to that is automatically uh, updated so that's another uh, big efficiency that we've introduced with the uh, with the ability of being able to define these places uh, for these hyperlinks that you're going to over and over again. One last thing I wanted to mention about places too is that when used in combination with the visual search it makes for a really handy way of rapidly building up a set of uh, links within a PDF file. So to show this let me go over, I want to go jump over to page 4 here and uh, I know on this drawing actually I have a couple of uh, elevator details so let me go do the visual search for that elevator detail and we'll go you know, choose this text here and I'll tell it to look on the current page so once a search is done it's going to be looking on a page for all those visual representations so here it found uh, two items I can go select both items and then now when I do the hyperlink checked you'll see that there's a place radio button here that I can choose elevator detail and the fact that I did that now and chose it had it go to that now when I hover over uh, either of those it takes me to that elevator detail that I just defined so I can go here let me go over to this one you see that hyperlink there and I hover over it takes me there so really really handy uh, when you're talking about having to look for a whole lot of links across many of uh, many uh, pages of, of large document sets so that's just a real quick run through of places and links and hyperlinks and uh, hope you find that useful